This is a vision video on scalar and vector quantities. Scalars have magnitude only. A magnitude just means number. Whereas vectors, they've got magnitude and direction. So you need to know the definitions of scalars and vectors. You also need to know the differences and you need to be able to give some examples. So for example, speed is a scalar. So speed is measured in meters per second. It has no direction, so it is scalar. In comparison, velocity is a vector. So for example, if we were to say five meters per second to the right, that would be a velocity could be given a direction. So that's velocity, and that is a vector. So any time we get a direction, it must be a vector. For example, acceleration. Acceleration is a change in velocity. So acceleration is a vector too. And another very common example is the difference between distance and displacement. If I was to go from here to here, from A to B, that would be a distance of 10 meters. It's just a number, there's no direction. If I was to go from A to B, the longer route, and that was 15 meters, that would be a distance too. I've not given any direction. Whereas if I was to say A to B going east or to the right, and I said it was 10 meters, I've been given a direction and I've been given a magnitude, so that would be a vector. So that is displacement. So if we've got magnitude only, it is scalar. So it is distance and if we've been given a direction and a magnitude it's displacement which is a vector, we've been given magnitude and direction. And this matters for when we're going in a circle or changing direction. So if we consider this circle, let's say it's a circular racetrack and this car is going around the circle at a constant speed of 10 meters per second. When the race car is here, it's moving forwards, going around this corner. When it's here, it's still moving forwards, still at the same speed of 10 meters per second. When it's here, it's still moving forwards, still at the same speed, 10 meters per second. And when it's here, it's still moving forward at a speed of 10 meters per second. So the magnitude is equal 10 meters per second, 10 meters per second, 10 meters per second, 10 meters per second. If we were to have a look at the vector, if we look at the velocity, we've got a velocity of 10 meters per second forwards. If we were to have a look over here, we've got 10 meters per second to the left. If you look here, we've got 10 meters per second down. And if you look here, we've got 10 meters per second to the right. So these are all velocities we've now been given a direction. It is vector, it's got magnitude and meters per second and a direction. And because the direction is changing, the velocity is changing. So the velocity changes with a change in direction. And if the velocity is changing with a change in direction, the acceleration also changes. So just to recap, scalars have got magnitude only, vectors have got magnitude and direction. Remember magnitude just means a number. And when we've got a scalar quantity such as just speed, 10 meters per second, the direction doesn't matter. It's got a constant speed. But if we've been given a direction, 
and the direction is changing, that means the velocity is changing, which means the acceleration also changes. 